Let's say you run this report for um, your department head or for the other person who's using the report. And let's say they make a request that they they want to only see it for France. And the next week they want to run it for Italy. And, and they want to be able to run the report and have the report prompt them for uh, which country or which, which criteria they would like to see. So what you do is you add something that's called a parameter. It's actually over here in the field explorer. So the first step is to add the parameter itself. I'm going to right click on the word parameter and then pick on new. Now a parameter is uh, a whole new field. So the first thing is you want to give the field a name. I'm going to call it country selection. Now you see over here where it says type. The type of the parameter field is the data type and it has to match the same data type of the field that you're comparing it to. So it can be a date or a date and time. I'm, I'm going to compare it to the country field in my table, which happens to be a string field. Uh, anytime you see the word string in crystal reports, it means that that's a text field. So I'll pick on string. Now over here, it says the list of values is either static or dynamic. If you want that list to always be up to date, then you pick on dynamic. Otherwise, it'll just be made at the time that you made this parameter, and it might start to get uh, out of date. So I like to make that dynamic. Uh, what you do is, uh, when you make it dynamic, you, you click over here, and then you pick the field that's in question. In this case, it's the country field. So what that means is, it's actually going to pull the values from the country field and give the list, uh, give the, uh, uh, the user a list to choose from. What I might also choose is over here where it says prompt text. This is the actual prompt that the user would see. Right now it says enter country. That's fine, but you can change that to something different. So um, I would change this to country selection. Uh, that's the name of the field. Make sure it's the same data type as what you're going to compare it to. You're going to make it dynamic so that it's going to pull from the list of values and show that to the user. Pull it right from the table. And then here I, I picked the actual country field. That's where it's going to pull the list from. And then the other thing that you might want to change is the prompt text. So I want to click on OK. And notice how that made a new pro parameter field over here. Now, if you want the user to an answer more than one question, then you would have another parameter field for each one. Now, that's uh, only the first step. The second step is to tie it into the report. Then you're going to use the selection expert. So I'm going to pick on the selection expert. Uh, now I'm going to pick the field that's in question, which in this in this case is the country. And uh, now you have your parameter, I mean your selection criteria. Uh, there'll, there'll be other videos about the selection criteria, but in this case I'm going to say is equal to. Now when we click on this second pull down, notice that it has the parameter field, and that's what you want to pick. So what we're saying here is we're going to limit the report to those records whose country is equal to whatever the user selects. When I click on OK here, it's actually going to show me the parameter. So I click on OK. And this is the prompt that the user is going to see. Notice how it says enter country. That's the prompt text. This is the list. When I click on that pull down, notice how it's going to show the different values from the, uh, from the uh, table in the country column. So let's say we want to run it for Italy. We'll click on OK. And if you notice, now the report is only showing the records from Italy. Now, what if the user wants to then run it for France? What you tell them to do is you come over here and you do a refresh. So we'll pick on Refresh. You're going to say Prompt for New Parameter Values. And we'll click on OK. Now, this time, let's run it for Spain. So we'll pick Spain. We'll click on OK. And if you notice, if I go back to the report, now it's it's only showing the records from Spain. The way I did it, it lets them run it one at a time. So they can run uh, Spain separately, and then France, and then Italy. Well, what if they wanted to run it for more than one country at the same time? What we do is we go back into the parameter. I'm going to right-click on the parameter and pick on Edit. There's only one thing that you have to change here. You're going to scroll down. And where it says allow multiple values, you're going to change that to the word true. We're going to click on OK. 
and now knows how it can pick more than one country. So I'm going to double click on France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Because I said allow multiple values equals true, I can pick more than one here. When I click on OK, now it's going to run the report for France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. So, um, you know, there's two steps to that. You have to first add the parameter in here, and then you have to go into your selection expert and make sure that parameter is tied into one of your fields. And now you can actually prompt the user for the criteria.